guys so welcome to Ari's cooking channel and today I'm gonna show y'all how to make sweet potato cornbread it's really really good it has a sweet taste to it and you can eat it year round now it's more like a tasty cake than cornbread but it doesn't matter so my mom's gonna be the one doing everything and I'm gonna do the talk over because you know I love to talk I love to giggle and I love to give y'all good entertainment so I'm gonna go and do the rundown before we get into the mixture so come on with me and follow me all right guys so this is so simple and easy you can make this any day of the week and eat it and still get fat okay so you're gonna need a jiffy cornbread or jiffy corn muffin mix you need a box of this um you're gonna need some milk eggs cinnamon vanilla nutmeg some mixing um containers you're gonna need a masher like a mashed potato masher and you're gonna need sweet potatoes so she bought two sweet potatoes right here she's gonna mash them up for y'all and then while you're doing this you want to get you a skillet or a cast iron pan and you want to melt a stick of butter which is going to be a half a cup of butter in your skillet and you want to preheat your oven to 350. on the box it says 400 but you know we cook around here on 350 so that would be a good range now if you want to cook at 400 you are more than willing to do that but it's 350 over here so you want to mash them really good And she has two sweet potatoes, a medium sized one, and you might want to use two medium ones if you get one giant one that's cool as well. But two medium ones work and you can pre-boil these and cook them ahead of time so you don't have to do everything at the same time. Next you're going to get a tablespoon of cinnamon and you want to measure it out or you can just go ahead and sprinkle to your desire. It's up to you. You want to go ahead and put some nutmeg in there. You want about a teaspoon or you can just sprinkle to your desire. Up to you. And you want a tablespoon of vanilla. Or what did I just say, y'all? Uh, to your desire. Up to you. <laughs> then you're going to go ahead and mix that in. And before you add your egg, because you can't eat raw egg, you want to taste it. Um, and the reason why you want to taste it because your sweet potato is supposed to be sweet. So she's going to add about, what, a half a cup? She's going to add a half a cup of sugar to this. And before you add your egg, you want to taste everything and make sure it's sweet to your desired taste. So you don't want it too sweet and you don't want it tasting like just a sweet potato with no flavor. So that's why you add the nut egg, cinnamon, and the vanilla in there and a half a cup of sugar and you can use whatever sugar you like you can use the regular sugar you can use sweet and low uh splenda whatever sugar that you use in your home and you're used to eating you can add that in there but this is just regular sugar Okay, so then you want to move that aside because now you're going to have to mix your cornbread mixture up. And do you use one box or two? Uh, you can use two. Yeah, two. So she used two boxes or you can use a box and a half. It's just up to you how big your pan is. So this time, she's going to show you how she makes her Jiffy mix. Now when you make the muffin mix, it's not going to be smooth. It's going to have a couple lumps in it. It's okay. The box even tell you them ingredients so you don't have to worry about it. Um, after you pour your dry ingredients in there, your two boxes, you're going to add a cup of milk. And 
anything you're just going to stir or whisk it up depending on what type of utensil you're going to use for this. first full cup of milk you want to go ahead and add about a fourth cup of milk in there and you're going to just whisk it up a little bit more and then you're going to go ahead and crack in two eggs one at a time so you can mix it in your batter. together for the corn muffin the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and taste your sweet potato mixture and you're going to incorporate it in your cornbread mixture mixture okay so now you're gonna mix your sweet potato mixture into your jiffy muffin mixture You're gonna pour all that into one bowl and you're gonna fold it in together. And it's gonna change the consistency of the muffin mixture so it's gonna get pretty thick, just like a cake mixture, but you wanna keep whipping until everything is blending in together. Now I'm going to give you a couple of tips and pointers that you can do if you want to be fancy with this. You can use heavy whipping cream instead of milk because that's going to give it a more rich flavor. It has fat content in it and it's going to fluff up this. If you're going to do like muffins, you want to be like more of a cake situation. You also can use cream cheese if you want to add a little swirl to it because that's good as well. And then you can even throw in some brown sugar, dark brown sugar if you want to be extra sweet, okay? But this is not supposed to be like a super sweet. It's not supposed to come off as a cake, but it's supposed to come off like a savory. A umami. You got the sweet. You got the salty. You got the good crunch around the edges. And it's still giving you cornbread con consistency with the thickness, you know, hard. Okay? So now, remember what I told you earlier when you're preheating your oven, you're going to put that stick of butter in your in your skillet which is going to come out to a half a cup um depending on how big it is or you can use a half a stick of butter which is a fourth cup and then you're going to go ahead and pour your mixture in there just like that y'all So you're going to have a little bit of that butter come around the edge. All you want to do is just shake it a little bit just to get the air bubbles out of there. And then you're going to leave it alone. You're not going to mix it up or anything because the edges is going to be a little crunchy. And then you're going to put it in the oven for how long? So you're going to put this in the oven about 45 to 50 minutes just depending on how your oven cooks. And then when it is done or if you're not completely sure if it's done, you're going to take a toothpick and you're gonna stick it down the middle and when it comes out clean baby it's time to eat so see you in a minute
Mmm, y'all see that? Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. Look at that. Y'all can tell it's buttery. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, y'all see the outfit for today. I need to give me a different mirror. So the shoes are Steve Madden's. So let's get into it. These are my favorite shoes, and this is why. <laughs> y'all see that? <laughs> now that? These are some church shoes right here. Oh. All I'm missing is the the sound effect. So shoes from Macy. I don't know who collection these are, but they're mine. And then the legs is from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> look at the dress now this is a church dress and it can be wore many ways you cannot lift your arms up in this because if you do your crotch and butt cheeks gonna be showing and if you got body body this is not a dress for you only thing I like about this dress I got this thing right here like a church robe but it be all right I don't wear it all the time we're gonna get on her in a minute cuz she down and struggling trying to put her shoes on she is. And then, y'all know I did my hair. And I just wanted to put in a little high balloon today. And that is it. And then the glasses from, y'all know. If y'all been with me, y'all know where we got these glasses from. So, yeah. We'll show her outfit when she get herself together. <laughs> this is my vlog. <laughs> and she is, uh, what's some people that be in the background when you in a movie? She's that. Yeah, I know what it is. Fill it in. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna edit her out because she ignorant. <laughs> when we get back from church, we're supposed to be going to Lowe's. I'm gonna try to get some stuff to replant these flowers because they in here just leaning. Okay, and I don't want them to hurt themselves. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. They leaning like this. The flower shouldn't even be leaning like that. That one, definitely leaning. This one needs to be repotted. And y'all know I got the pots. I just think did what I was supposed to do. So, oh, and again, there's the TV. I did that myself. So, I'll be back. All right, guys. So, let's do the outfit today. Really cute. These shoes from Target a year ago. Don't watch. I didn't polish my toes. And my little shoe insert is coming out don't embarrass me today but get back in here okay so this skirt is from amazon now if you got thick thighs hips butts this ain't for you okay and it is so cute because it got so many freaking pockets i've also been wearing this for a concert but <laughs> the weather up here got real scarce last year and i'm just now pulling it out this shirt is from forever 21 it says jamaica on there i have wore this before in a vlog because i have the pants that match it's really cute and the boobs are natural <laughs> ah, the skin from jesus the hat from wiley world from wiley world the purse is from target and we got everything in there and this is what we're giving in a little leg woo woo a little leg so yep this is what I'm giving to you today. We are about to go have a family day. This is day two of the walk. So when we get out there, I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. I'm gonna show see my babies. And we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna try to rack up daddy's credit card. Okay, so I'll be back. I shouldn't even do that. I shouldn't do that. I'll be, I be having the kids. I'll be, I be having them doing things that I'm supposed to be doing. But who would I be if I wasn't the auntie that's supposed to be? And oh yeah. Got the TV up, y'all, on the TV stand. It's not that hard. It's very easy, simple. It's so weird because all the TVs in my house are hung up on the wall. This is the only one that is sitting. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I got to get used to it. I'm not used to it. But for now, it's what it is because I don't got time to be trying to find. I, I don't want to be ace today, but I got tired of looking at that TV on my uh, couch. So, yeah. And then my baby can get off my back because she comes up here and be like, I got to watch TV. Like, no, you don't. It's other TVs in the house. Go and watch that. But she wants to be up here. So, me being me, I got it together. But when we get to our destination, I'll be back to show y'all. This lip gloss 
with this color to it is um I mean I know I'm chocolate but dang I don't know how I feel by the time I by the time I get where I'm going I might end up wiping this off but when we get there I'll let y'all know what's going on we'll have a good day and let's get the move on all right guys all right guys so we all made it you know we got mom and the road speedy and we are again here so we're gonna go over there and check it out i know it's a dollar 25 a ticket you can get 20 tickets for 20 something so we're gonna uh we're gonna come out here and check it out and see what's going on we're waiting on the other group of people you know we try to get people to do stuff on time they just don't listen <laughs> So, we're gonna go to the little carnival, see what's going on. And then from there, um, I really wanna play golf. So we probably go back and over there and play golf. We're gonna check out the stuff. I'm trying to get a little closer so y'all can see the rides. I don't think I got a funnel cake. That's what I want. That's why I didn't get nothing. I'm waiting on the funnel cake. Ooh, they still got that old ride running. That one you stand up and they twirl you around. I couldn't do that. I did that two times. That's probably why I got a uh, terrorist. <laughs> All right, guys, let me get over here. All right, so they got the crazy dance, um, crazy surf. Y'all know where I'm going. Give me a funnel cake. They got popcorn, apple pie. They got little rice. Oh, they got a little fun thing over there. Uh, Y'all know that's the old school ride. I will not be getting off. I <laughs> come out here for this. Oh, and this look neat. Okay. They probably get on that. And then they got that. That's cute. And they got these little animals over here. <sighs> I kind of give me a fun. Oh, they have corn dogs. Let's get us one of those. Yeah, so Mom Dukes. You gotta know she like to get on rides. She said she gonna get on two of the rides out here once the rest of the crew come. Y'all yeah, know I don't get on rides, but I did get a funnel cake and I ate half a third of it. So, and I ate my sweets for the week. <laughs> and I'm not getting on nothing because y'all know I don't like rides. Seven tickets, but he letting them jump for a long time. How much is this? Yeah. Nah, I ain't buying no ticket. She is not playing. She wanted to get on it so bad. And she is on it. Row, row. Now how he get in the chip, how you get in the car seat? Just a hot mess. Oh, you bust the balloon and get some? Yeah. They about to get on the teacup. Teacup. Oh yeah. You gonna give me peace and okay I got back up for the Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, they got on the puppy spin. Let's see how fast they gonna go. by going to the carnival and we have fun back there and the carnival is over with we've been here since noon and it's 2 30 now 
it's time to go home. It's time to go. We have fun. I even got a little dark on my back. And clearly, I didn't put that much clothes on today. Because it was warm. We're going to do a drop off. Peace. Toodles. We over there.